It is a song we have heard several times before, but this time it was sung at city council with an even bigger message. With poppies over their hearts and a display of their bravery weighing down their suits, about 30 local veterans gathered at City Hall. They are protesting the federal government's decision to close Veterans Affairs offices across Canada, including Windsor's. Larry Costello was a member of the Navy during World War II and is now one of 2,600 local veterans who rely on Veterans Affairs. We're not only talking about uh, the veterans of the Second World War, Korea or Afghanistan or any of them. To me, a veteran is anyone that puts the uniform on and joins to fight for their country. They are willing to put their life on the line because they believe in the freedom of Canada. So uh, to me, uh, I think Veteran Affairs is making a, a grave mistake at present to um, move it out of, out of this area. Windsor is known for standing by its veterans. This truth was proven when councillors' hands were raised in unison. They too want the federal government to reconsider the decision and keep the Windsor office open. It doesn't make any sense for them to close it down because uh, they don't have people to, in the military that come out to your house and help you with things as far as, you know, getting back and forth to work, getting clothing and meals and stuff like that. Not like the city would do for their people, but with the, when they do that, you got people with those disabilities commuting. This is going to be hectic. There are thousands of local veterans, some from recent combat missions, others that date as far back as World War II. If Veterans Affairs Office is closed, veterans will have to try to contact the government either by phone, internet, or travel as far as London for services that were once locally provided by the country they fought for. Reporting from Mediaplex News This Week, I'm Haley Trelout.